The University of Delaware, colloquially UD or Delaware is a public research university located in Newark, Delaware. University of Delaware is the largest university in Delaware. UD currently offers more than 135 undergraduate degrees. At the graduate level, it offers 67 doctoral, 142 master's degree programs, 14 dual degrees, 15 interdisciplinary programs, 12 online programs, and 28 certificate programs across its seven colleges and more than 82 research centers and institutes. UD is one of the top 100 institutions for federal obligations in science and engineering and interdisciplinary initiatives in energy science and policy, the environment, and in human health. The main campus is in Newark, with satellite campuses in Dover, Wilmington, Lewis, and Georgetown. It is considered a large institution with approximately 18,500 undergraduate and 4,500 graduate students. UD is a privately governed university which receives public funding for being a land grant, sea grant, space grant and urban grant state supported research institution. UD is classified as a research intensive university with very high research activity by the Carnegie classification of institutions of higher education. The university's programs in engineering, science, business, hospitality management, education, urban affairs and public policy, public administration, agriculture, history, chemical and biomolecular engineering, chemistry and biochemistry have been highly ranked with some positive impact from the historically strong presence of the nation's chemical and pharmaceutical industries in the state of Delaware, such as DuPont and W. L. Gore and Associates. It is one of only four schools in North America with a major in art conservation. In 1923, UD was the first American university to offer a study abroad program. The school from which the university grew was founded in 1743, making it one of the oldest in the nation. However, UD was not chartered as an institution of higher learning until 1833. Its original class of ten students included George Reed, Thomas McKean, and James Smith, all three of whom would go on to sign the Declaration of Independence. History <laughs> Early years, Newark Academy The University of Delaware traces its origins to 1743, when Presbyterian minister founder Francis Allison opened up his free school in his home in New London, Pennsylvania. During its early years, the school was run under the auspices of the Philadelphia Synod of the Presbyterian Church. The school changed its name and location several times. It moved to Newark around 1763, and received a charter from the colonial Penn government as the Academy of Newark in 1769. In 1781 the Academy trustees petitioned the Delaware General Assembly to grant the Academy the powers of a college, but no action was taken on this request. Topic. Transformation to Delaware College In 1818 the Delaware Legislature authorized the trustees of the Newark Academy to operate a lottery in order to raise funds with which to establish a college. Commencement of the lottery, however, was delayed until 1825, in large part because some trustees, several of whom were Presbyterian ministers, objected to involvement with a lottery on moral grounds. In 1832, the Academy trustees selected the site for the college and entered into a contact for the erection of the college building. Construction of that building now called Old College began in late 1832 or in 1833. On February 5, 1833, the Delaware Legislature incorporated Newark College, which was charged with instruction in languages, arts and sciences, and granted the power to confer degrees. All the trustees of the Academy became trustees of the college, and the college absorbed the Academy, which became the preparatory department of the college. Newark College commenced operations on May 8, 1834, with a collegiate department and an academic department. In January 1835, the Delaware Legislature passed legislation specifically authorizing the Academy trustees to suspend operations and to allow the educational responsibilities of the Academy to be performed by the academic department of the college. If, however, the college ever ceased to have an academic department, the trustees of the Academy were required to revive the Academy. 
In 1843, the name of the college was changed to Delaware College. The school closed from 1859 until 1870 Newark Academy separated from the Delaware College in 1869. It reopened in 1870 due to the support of the Morrill Land Grant Acts. In 1921, Delaware College was renamed the University of Delaware, and it officially became a coeducational institution in 1945 when it merged with the nearby Women's College of Delaware. On October 23, 2009, the University of Delaware signed an agreement with Chrysler to purchase a 272-acre (1.10 square kilometers) closed vehicle assembly plant adjacent to the university for expansion for $24.25 million as part of Chrysler's bankruptcy restructuring plan. Plans call for this facility to be repurposed into a world-class research facility. Initial plans include the new home of the College of Health Science and the East Coast headquarters of Bloom Energy. In 2010-11, the university conducted a feasibility study in support of plans to add a law school focused on corporate and patent law. At its completion, the study suggested that the planned addition was not within the university's funding capability given the nation's economic climate at the time. Capital expenses were projected at $100 million, and the operating deficit in the first 10 years would be $165 million. The study assumed an initial class of 200 students entering in the fall of 2015. Whittinger University has Delaware's only law school as of 2011. Topic academics The university is organized into seven colleges, College of Agriculture and Natural Resources College of Arts and Sciences Alfred Lerner College of Business and Economics College of Earth, Ocean and Environment College of Education and Human Development College of Engineering College of Health Sciences There are also three schools, School of Education part of the College of Education and Human Development School of Marine Science and Policy part of the College of Earth, Ocean and Environment School of Public Policy and Administration part of the College of Arts and Sciences. Topic rankings U.S. News & World Report ranked UD's undergraduate program tied for 79th among national universities and tied for 30th among public universities in 2017. Times Higher Education World University rankings ranked UD 145th nationally and between 251st and 300th internationally in 2019. Topic. Alfred Lerner College of Business and Economics The Bloomberg Businessweek review of the best undergraduate B schools ranked UD's Lerner College of Business and Economics 96th among the 187 U.S. programs reviewed. As of fall 2014, University of Delaware offers Ph.D. in Financial Services Analytics FSAN. The Ph.D. in FSAN is a cross-disciplinary program offered by the Alfred Lerner College of Business and Economics and the College of Engineering at the University of Delaware, and was funded in part by a grant from J.P. Morgan Chase. The program is the first of its kind. Topic. College of Arts and Sciences Through the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of Delaware students can choose from a vast array of concentrations. They can choose from programs in visual and performing arts, social sciences, natural sciences and many more. The Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences is George Watson, who has been a UD faculty member in the Department of Physics and Astronomy since 1987. In 2001, Watson helped launch the PBL Clearinghouse, and he has continued to serve as its managing editor since its creation. In 2004, he co-founded the Pan American Network for Problem-Based Learning and maintains a leadership role in that organization. Topic. College of Earth, Ocean, and Environment The College of Earth, Ocean, and Environment CEOE, is made up of the Department of Geography, the Department of Geological Sciences, and the School of Marine Science and Policy. There are four programs in the School of Marine Science and Policy, Marine Biosciences, Oceanography, Physical Ocean Science and Engineering, and Marine Policy. 
The college offers over nine undergraduate majors and 14 graduate degrees. Undergraduate science majors at UD have the opportunity to apply for the CEOE Semester in Residence program, in which students live and work at the Lewis campus, which is located on the Delaware Bay. The Lewis campus has many advanced marine research facilities and is home to UD's R. V. Hugh R. Sharp, a 146-foot, state-of-the-art coastal research vessel that operates as a member of the University National Oceanographic Laboratory System UNOLS. Students work on a research project guided by a faculty member in addition to taking introductory graduate-level classes. Additionally, any undergraduate student in the United States who is enrolled in a bachelor's degree program may apply for the college's Research Experiences for Undergraduates REU program. In 2019, CCOE opened the Offshore Wind Skills Academy, the first U.S. skills training program for offshore wind energy professionals. The college also offers May undergraduate study abroad opportunities to places such as New Zealand, Mexico, Bonaire, Fiji, Barbados, Austria, and London. Topic. College of Education and Human Development Vision, the College of Education and Human Development will lead, inspire and engage our students, the citizens of Delaware, the nation, and the world in solving critical educational and social problems, and in promoting learning and development in all children and families. The School of Education within the College of Education and Human Development CEHD, is a nationally recognized and authoritative source of knowledge about the practices that impact students' academic and social development and educators' professional development. Some 54 faculty members work with over 900 students in the school's diverse undergraduate and graduate programs. The Department of Human Development and Family Sciences is an academic unit that prepares undergraduate and graduate students for a career in early childhood education, family studies or human services. Graduate degrees offered include, MA, MED, ED, D, and PhD. The UD College of Education is included among the best in the country being ranked 32nd tie among USA Colleges of Education. U.S. News & World Report Best Global University Ranking Topic College of Engineering The U.S. News & World Report ranked the University of Delaware's engineering graduate program as number 47 and the undergraduate program as number 55 in 2018. U.S. News & World Report ranked both the undergraduate and graduate chemical engineering programs as number 9 in the country in 2018. The College of Engineering is home to seven academic departments offering bachelor's degree, master's degree and doctoral degree programs focused on challenges associated biopharmaceuticals, cybersecurity, data science, energy, the environment, human health, infrastructure, manufacturing, materials and nanofabrication. Undergraduate degrees are offered in biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer engineering, computer science, construction engineering and management, electrical engineering, environmental engineering, information systems, materials science and engineering, and mechanical engineering. As of fall 2017, the College of Engineering had 154 faculty, 2,384 undergraduate students and 966 graduate students. The faculty includes 31 named professors, 8 career development named professors, 8 National Academy of Engineers members, 44 NSF Career Award winners and 17 University Teaching Award recipients. Initiatives led by college faculty include 15 college-based research centers and 14 university-based research institutes. Strategic partnerships with industry, government and academic institutions complement these initiatives, expanding the college's reputation and reach and cultivating a culture of interdisciplinary collaboration, leadership and entrepreneurship among future engineers. The College of Engineering has a presence in approximately 20 different buildings on and off campus. This includes modern classrooms and research laboratories such as the Advanced Materials Characterization Lab and Nanofabrication Facility located in the Interdisciplinary Science and Engineering Laboratory. Student makerspaces also give undergraduates opportunities for hands-on learning. The university's Science, Technology and Advanced Research STAR campus is expanding university-based research and shared research undertaken with corporate partners. Topic. 
Divisions and institutes Institute of Energy Conversion The Institute of Energy Conversion at the University of Delaware is the oldest solar energy research institute in the world. It was established by Carl Bohr in 1972 to pioneer research on thin film solar cells and today is one of the only laboratories in the world with expertise in C, cadmium telluride, and QINS2 based solar cells. This included the development of one of the first solar-powered homes, a structure still utilized by the university's student-run ambulance service, the University of Delaware Emergency Care Unit. Recently the IEC was the number one recipient of the Doe Sunshot Initiative and was awarded five grants totaling $9.1 million to research next-generation solar cells to reduce the cost of solar cells by 75% by the end of the decade. Topic. Disaster Research Center The Disaster Research Center, or DRC, was the first social science research center in the world devoted to the study of disasters. It was established at Ohio State University in 1963 and moved to the University of Delaware in 1985. The center conducts field and survey research on group, organizational and community preparation for, response to, and recovery from natural and technological disasters and other community-wide crises. DRC researchers have carried out systematic studies on a broad range of disaster types, including hurricanes, floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, hazardous chemical incidents, and plane crashes. DRC has also done research on civil disturbances and riots, including the 1992 Los Angeles unrest. Staff have conducted nearly 700 field studies since the center's inception, traveling to communities throughout the United States and internationally, including Mexico, Canada, Japan, Italy, and Turkey. Core faculty members are from the Department of Sociology and Criminal Justice, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, and the School of Public Policy and Administration. The staff also includes postdoctoral fellows, graduate students, undergraduates and research support personnel. Topic. Delaware Biotechnology Institute The Delaware Biotechnology Institute, or DBI, was organized as an academic unit of the University of Delaware in 1999 and moved into dedicated research facilities in 2001. DBI supports a statewide partnership of higher education, industry, medical, and government communities committed to the discovery and application of interdisciplinary knowledge in biotechnology and the life sciences. With some 180 people resident in the DBI facilities, including 20 to 25 faculty members representing 12 departments, 140 graduate and postgraduate students, and 20 professional staff members, DBI emphasizes a multidisciplinary approach to life science research. The core research areas pursued by DBI-affiliated faculty include agriculture, human health, marine environmental genomics, biomaterials, and computational biology, bioinformatics. Research in these and other areas is done in collaboration with faculty at Delaware State University, Delaware Technical and Community College, Wesley College, Christiana Care Health System, and Namor Hospital for Children. One of the primary objectives of the Institute is to provide state-of-the-art research equipment to facilitate life science research and six core instrumentation centers and specialized facilities, each under the direction of an experienced researcher or administrator, is supported at DBI and made available to university researchers. Topic. Delaware Environmental Institute The Delaware Environmental Institute Denon launched on October 23, 2009. Denon is charged with conducting research and promoting and coordinating knowledge partnerships that integrate environmental science, engineering and policy. Topic. University of Delaware Energy Institute The University of Delaware Energy Institute UDEI, was inaugurated September 19, 2008. UDEI has been selected to receive a $3 million a year grant for advanced solar research. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> John L. Weinberg Center for Corporate Governance. The John L. Weinberg Center for Corporate Governance was established in 2000 at the Alfred Lerner College of Business and Economics. Its aim is to propose changes in corporate structure and management through education and interaction. The center provides a forum for those interested in corporate governance issues. Topic: <laughs> Joseph R. Biden Institute. In February 2017, the School of Public Policy and Administration announced the creation of the Joseph R. Biden Institute, named after alumnus and former Vice President of the United States. Students and admissions The student body at the University of Delaware is primarily an undergraduate population. The university offers more than 135 undergraduate degrees and, due to the number of academic options, many students complete dual degrees as well as double majors and minors. UD students have access to work and internship opportunities, worldwide study abroad programs, research and service learning programs. Campus The campus itself is divided into four areas. Main campus, which has most of the academic and residential buildings, is centered on a roughly north-south axis between South College Avenue and Academy Street. At the center of the campus is Memorial Hall, which once divided the Women's College from Delaware College. North and south of Memorial Hall is a large, roughly rectangular green space known either as the Green or the Mall around which are many of the oldest buildings on campus. Though the buildings were constructed at various times over the course of more than a century, they follow a cohesive Georgian design aesthetic. The green area is further subdivided into three areas. North Central, which is north of Delaware Avenue, contains the original men's dormitories now coeducational of what was then Delaware College, as well as several classroom buildings north of Main Street in what had been the original engineering departments. Central which lies between Delaware Avenue and Memorial Hall, contains many large classroom buildings and laboratories. South Central, which extends from Memorial Hall to Park Place, houses the original women's dormitories, as well as some classroom buildings and the Morris Library. Other areas around the main campus include Harrington Beach, a large grassy quadrangle on the east side of main campus that serves as a common meeting and recreation place for students, and is surrounded by three large dormitory complexes and the Perkins Student Center. Several more classroom and laboratory buildings line the streets on either side of the green, and there exists an area of closed dormitories the former Dickinson and Rodney dormitory complexes that lie at the outer edge of main campus across South Main Street. Laird Campus, which has several dormitories as well as a conference center, hotel, and the Christiana Towers apartment complex, lies north of Cleveland Avenue between New London Road and North College Avenue. South Campus has the Agricultural School, all of the sports stadiums including, among others, Delaware Stadium and the Bob Carpenter Center, and the Advanced Research Campus, which is built on the site of a former automobile plant. It lies south of the train tracks and north of Christina Parkway, Delaware Route 4. The Delaware Technology Park, which lies to the far east of Main Campus, is designated north of the train tracks and south of Wyoming Road on either side of Library Avenue, Delaware Route 72, and has several research laboratories, classroom buildings, and offices. In 1891, prominent Philadelphia architect Frank Furness designed Recitation Hall. Several buildings Wolf, Sussex, and Harder Halls were designed by Frank Miles Day who also designed the formal campus landscape. From 1918 to 1952, Marion Kruger Coffin was appointed the university's landscape architect, a position which required her to unite the university's two separate campuses the men's to the north and the women's to the south into one cohesive design. This was a challenge since the linear mall design of each was out of alignment with the other. Coffin solved this problem by linking them with a circle instead of curving the straight paths Morris Library faces this circle today, which rendered the misalignment unnoticeable to the pedestrian. North, or Laird, campus, formerly home to the Pencater Complex, has been entirely redesigned and renamed Independence Complex. 
This began with the construction of a Marriott courtyard run by the HRIM Hotel Restaurant and Institutional Management Department. Four residence hall buildings have been built, three named after the three university alumni who signed the Declaration of Independence, George Reed, Thomas McKean, and James Smith, who signed for Pennsylvania. The fourth residence hall was named Independence Hall, the David and Louise Russell Center for the Arts, with facilities for the school's music and theater programs, was opened in 2006. Also in 2006, Jastak Burgess Hall opened and is home to the Department of Foreign Languages and Literature. In 1998, Gore Hall opened on the green and connects to Smith Hall via an overpass on South College Avenue. In 2013, two new residence halls, named after former college president Elifale Gilbert and Delaware civil rights pioneer Louis L. Redding, were opened on the East Campus Housing Complex. Topic. Administration In 2016, the UD Board of Trustees elected Dennis Asanis as the next president of the University of Delaware. Nancy Target, former dean of the university's College of Earth, Ocean, and Environment was the interim president of UD, following UD President Patrick Harker's departure in 2015 to serve as the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. Topic. Funding. The university receives funding from a variety of sources as a consequence of its historical origins. Among those sources is the State of Delaware operating budget. In fiscal year 2016, the proportion of the university's funding coming from state appropriations was 12%. The university also has partnerships with foundations and corporations that donate to the university per year. Some of the 2017 donors include Amazon Smile, Comcast Corporation and Google Inc. Topic. Study abroad The University of Delaware was the first American university to begin a study abroad program, which was later adopted by many other institutions. The program began when Professor Raymond Watson Kirkbride took a group of nine students to Paris, France during the fall semester of 1923. Since this initial trip, the University of Delaware has expanded its study abroad program, which now encompasses over 80 different programs in more than 40 subjects to over 45 countries making it one of the largest programs in the country. As of 2006-2007, approximately 45% of all Delaware undergraduate students take advantage of study abroad experiences prior to completing their baccalaureate degrees. Delaware's study abroad program offers many options for students. Undergraduates have the option of studying abroad for a five-week winter or summer session, or an entire semester. Topic athletics The athletic teams at Delaware are known as the Fightin' Blue Hens with a mascot named UD. UD is a blue hen chicken, after the team names and the state bird of Delaware. UD was elected into the Mascot Hall of Fame in 2006, and as a seven-time UCA Open Division mascot national champion, UD offers 21 varsity sports, which compete in the NCAA Division I FCS for football. Delaware is a member of the Colonial Athletic Association CAA in all sports. Delaware was a member of the Atlantic 10 Conference in football until the 2006 season. The Fightin' Blue Hens football teams have won six national titles, including the 2003 NCAAIAA Championship. In 2007, the Delaware Blue Hens were the runners-up in the NCAAIAA National Championship game, but were defeated by defending champions Appalachian State. In 2010, the Delaware Blue Hens were again runners-up in the National Championship game, losing to Eastern Washington 20-19 after being up 19-0 earlier in the game. Former head football coaches Bill Murray, Dave Nelson and Harold Tubby Raymond are College Football Hall of Fame inductees. Delaware is one of only two schools to have three straight head coaches inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame, Georgia Tech is the other. Delaware's only other NCAA national championships came in 1983 for women's Division I lacrosse and on November 20, 2016, when the Delaware women's field hockey team won the school's first NCAA Division I national championship, defeating North Carolina, 3-2. 
The Blue Hens have won 22 CAA championships since joining in 2001, one for the 2015 women's golf team, the women's 2004, 2009, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016 field hockey teams, the 2007, 2010, 2011 men's lacrosse teams, the 2014 men's basketball team, the 2005, 2012, 2013 women's basketball teams, the 2007, 2008, 2010 2011 women's volleyball teams, the 2012 2016 men's soccer teams, the 2014 women's track and field team, and the 2010 football team, shared with William and Mary. And officially, the women's rowing team has won the CAA title four times since 2001, placing second the other two times. The 2007 men's lacrosse program reached the final four of the NCAA tournament for the first time in its history. On March 7, 2012, the Division I men's ice hockey team won the ACA National Championship. UD defeated Oakland University 5-1, capturing its first title. The Delaware Fight Song first appeared in the Student Handbook in 1933. It was composed by alumnus George F. Kelly, class of 1915. Topic: Intrastate competition. In November 2007, it was announced that the University of Delaware and Delaware State University would have their first game against each other, the game being in the first round of the NCAA Division I Football Championship Subdivision Playoffs. The game was played on November 23, with University of Delaware winning 44-7. Delaware has won all of the regular season matchups, which have been called the Route 1 rivalry. Future contests were held during the 2013-2014 college year. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music. The University of Delaware has a variety of musical performance opportunities available to students, including a wind ensemble, orchestra, symphonic band, there are also a number of jazz groups available, including two large ensembles, and a smaller group that focus on improvisation. All ensembles are open by audition to all students at the university, and can be taken either for credit or for no credit. The school also has a steel drum ensemble, and an early music ensemble. There are also a variety of choral ensembles, including the University of Delaware Chorale, an all-women's choir, and three choirs, also open to community members, that constitute the Shola Cantorum. The music department's home is the Amy E. DuPont Music Building, named for Amy Elizabeth DuPont, a prominent benefactor of the university during the 20th century. In addition, the University of Delaware is known for having one of the best marching bands on the East Coast, the University of Delaware Fight and Blue Hen Marching Band. The band ranges from 300 to 350 members every year and can be seen performing at every home football game as well as at various festivals and competitions, including the Collegiate Marching Band Festival in Allentown. Additionally, the marching band was selected to perform in the 56th Presidential Inaugural Parade in 2009. In 2006, the new Center for the Arts building opened. This building has a number of recital halls and a large number of practice rooms, most with upright pianos. The practice rooms are locked and cannot be used by students who are not music majors or in an official UD ensemble. The university employs a tiered access system, with larger rooms and rooms with grand pianos being reserved for certain groups of students. In addition the music department also uses their old building, with offices, classrooms, practice rooms, and recital halls. This building has public access practice rooms with pianos. In 2005, the University of Delaware Chorale, under the direction of Paul D. Head and accompanied by Betsy Kent, were invited to perform at the American Choral Directors Association's International Convention in Los Angeles. In April 2007, the Chorale won the Grand Prix at the Tallinn International Choral Festival in Estonia, having scored higher than 40 other choirs from around the world. In 2010 the Chorale competed in two categories of the 42nd Annual Toulouse Choral Competition in Toulouse, Spain. They received a bronze and a silver award. UD16, a chamber ensemble of Chorale also competed in Toulouse in two categories and won two silver awards. 
In the summer of 2012 the Chorale was the only American college choir to be invited to the International Society for Music Education Conference in Thessaloniki, Greece. The UD Steel Ensemble was also invited. On that same tour, the Chorale placed in a close second at the Grand Prix of the 25th Bella Bartok International Choral Competition. In 2000, the music department purchased an 18th-century Sarudi violin for professor and violinist Shang Gao. The university also has a student-run radio station, 91.3 WVUD, as well as several a cappella groups including one all-female, one all-male, and five mixed groups. Topic. Student life Topic. Tuition As of the fall of 2017, the price per semester for Delaware residents is $12,746, and $22,741 for non-resident students. Total cost of attendance for the 2017-18 school year for Delaware residents is approximately $25,492, and approximately $45,482 for non-residents. Media There are currently four student publications at Delaware, The Review, Deconstruction Magazine, Udress, and The Main Street Journal, as well as radio and television stations. Print The Review is a weekly publication, released in print and online on Tuesdays. It is an independent publication and receives no financial support from the university. It is distributed at several locations across campus, including Morris Library, the Perkins Student Center and the Trabant University Center, as well as various academic buildings and the dining halls. The review's office is located at 250 Perkins Student Center, facing Academy Street, and is above the offices of WVUD. In 2004, it was a National Newspaper Pacemaker Award finalist, and was also named one of the 10 best non-daily college newspapers by the Associated Collegiate Press. It currently has a print circulation of 10,000. In 2002, Deconstruction Magazine was formed to create a forum for student writing that fell outside of journalism or creative writing. Traditionally, deconstruction focused on an editorial style of writing to discuss everything from politics to pop culture. Udress Magazine is the on-campus fashion magazine which publishes one issue per semester, in conjuncture with fashion events. The Main Street Journal focuses on creative writing. Another student magazine, Audio, was announced in fall 2007. They aim to be the University of Delaware's first online music magazine. Topic. Broadcast The student-run, non-commercial, educational radio station at Delaware broadcasts on 91.3 and uses the call letters WVUD, which the university purchased from the University of Dayton in the 1980s. Although not its intended call letter pronunciation, VUD has taken on the slogan, The Voice of the University of Delaware. They are licensed by the City of Newark, Delaware and broadcasts with a power of 1,000 watts 24 hours a day with its offices and studios located in the Perkins Student Center. The transmitting facilities are located atop the Christiana East Tower Residence Hall. WVUD is operated by University of Delaware students, a university staff of two, and community members. No prior radio experience is necessary, nor is there a need to enroll in any certain major to become a part of WVUD. The radio station has a variety of programming, featuring both music and talk formats. STN is the student-run, non-commercial, educational television station at the University of Delaware. The station broadcasts second-run movies, original student-produced content as well as live sports coverage. The initials, STN, originally stood for Shane Thomas Network, later changed to Student Television Network. Topic Greek life Approximately 25% of the University of Delaware's undergraduate student population is affiliated with a fraternity or sorority. 
There are over 26 fraternities and 20 sororities chapters and colonies in the Interfraternity Council IFC, National Panhellenic Conference NPC, and Multicultural Greek Congress MGC. They all coordinate via the Greek Council. All Greek organizations participate in an accreditation process called the Chapter Assessment Program CAP. CAP ratings award chapters with either a gold, silver, bronze, satisfactory or needs improvement designation. This system is an expansion from the five-star program of the late 1990s, requiring contributions to community service, philanthropy, university events, diversity education, professional education, a chapter, colony GPA greater than or equal to the all-men's or all-women's average, and attendance and compliance with numerous other criteria. Active fraternities include Alpha Phi Alpha, Kappa Alpha Psi, Phi Beta Sigma, Lambda Sigma Upsilon, Pi Alpha Phi, Phi Kappa Psi, Delta Tau Delta, Delta Sigma Pi, Alpha Sigma Phi, Kappa Delta Rho, Kappa Sigma, Sigma Alpha Epsilon, Alpha Gamma Rho, Lambda Chi Alpha, Sigma Pi, Sigma Phi Delta, Theta Chi, Kappa Alpha Order, Pi Kappa Phi, Zeta Beta Tau, Sigma Nu, Phi Gamma Delta, and Sigma Phi Epsilon. Active sororities include Delta Sigma Theta, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Zeta Phi Beta, Lambda Theta Alpha, Chi Upsilon Sigma, Lambda Pi Chi, Delta Phi Lambda, Phi Sigma Sigma, Alpha Delta Pi, Alpha Xi Delta, Gamma Phi Beta, Alpha Epsilon Phi, Chi Omega, Sigma Kappa, Alpha Phi, Delta Gamma, Alpha Sigma Alpha, Pi Beta Phi, Delta Delta Delta, and Kappa Alpha Theta. Alcohol abuse A campus website claims that a 1993 study by the Harvard School of Public Health found that high-risk drinking at UD exceeded the national norm. On this survey, a majority of students reported binge drinking more than once in a two-week interval. The average consumption for students was nine drinks per week, while 29% reported that they drink on 10 or more occasions per month. UD students were found to be more aware of policies, prevention programs, and enforcement risks than the national average. In 2005, on the Newark campus of the University 1140 students were picked up by the campus police for alcohol-related violations. Of these, 120 led to arrests. These figures are up from previous years, 1062 in 2004 and 1026 in 2003. This represents approximately 6% of the student population. At least one student organization has undertaken the goal of providing fun activities for those who chose not to drink and to promote the idea that one doesn't need alcohol to have a good time. In 2008, a University of Delaware freshman died of alcohol poisoning after attending a party hosted by members of the Sigma Alpha Mu fraternity, where the student was pledging. Although the university has attempted to make efforts in preventing alcohol abuse, a student visiting from another college died on March 19, 2016 in an alcohol-related incident. The student was standing alone on the roof of an off-campus fraternity, and slipped off it. Topic. Shuttle service The University of Delaware operates multiple shuttle routes called UD Shuttle that serve the campus. The North-South Academy route runs the north-south length of the campus via Academy Street and offers daily service, with late night service Friday and Saturday. The North-South College route runs the north-south length of the campus via College Avenue and offers service on weekdays. The East Loop route runs a loop through the eastern part of the campus and Newark and offers daily service, with late night service Friday and Saturday. The West Loop route runs a loop through the western part of the campus and Newark and offers daily service, with late night service Friday and Saturday. The Early Bird route offers early morning weekday service serving the north-south length of the campus while the Late Bird route offers late night service daily serving the north-south length of the campus. Health The University of Delaware Emergency Care Unit is a registered student organization at the university, which provides emergency medical services to the campus and surrounding community. UDECU has approximately 50 members, all of which are volunteers and students at the University of Delaware. 
UDECU operates one basic life support ambulance UD1, one first response vehicle UD2, and a bike team. Advanced life support is provided by New Castle County Emergency Medical Services. Topic. Controversies Topic. Power plant The university agreed to lease 43 acres on the STAR campus to the Data Centers TDC for the construction of the Data Center. The Data Center plan included a combined heat cycle natural gas-fired power plant capable of generating 279 megawatts of energy. TDC claimed that the power plant was critical to ensuring an uninterrupted electrical power supply to the facility, which is critical for data integrity. The TDC business plan also called for sale of excess electricity. Portions of the Newark community questioned the business plan, claiming that the power plant is not an auxiliary part of the data center but a separate industrial use, which would violate the zoning of the Star Campus. On April 28, 2014, the City of Newark Board of Adjustment upheld its April 19, 2014 ruling that the power plant is an accessory to the data center and that no rezoning was required. The ruling is presently under appeal. The University of Delaware's Sustainability Task Force sent an open letter to President Harker citing concerns that the project violates the university's strategic plan and climate action plan. On May 4, 2014, the University Faculty Senate voted 43-0 with eight abstentions to recommend to the administration that it not allow construction of the data center on UD Star Campus if the data center includes any fossil fuel burning power plant. On July 10, 2014 the university announced that it was terminating the lease for the project. Topic. Orientation In the fall of 2007, the university implemented a new residence life education program that was criticized for forcing students into polarizing discussions. The program was abandoned in November. Topic. Notable alumni and faculty Notable alumni of the University of Delaware include the 47th Vice President of the United States and former U.S. Senator Joe Biden BA 1965, former Second Lady of the United States Jill Biden BA 1976, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie BA. 1984, campaign manager David Plouffe, BA 2010, Nobel Prize winning microbiologist Daniel Nathans, BS 1950, and organic chemist Richard F. Heck, Henry C. Brinton, BS Physics, 1957, Director of Research Division at NASA, Rwandan Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation, Louise Mushikiwabo, MA. 1988, the former president of Emory University James W. Wagner, BA. 1975, Chicago Bears head coach Matt Nagy, and Super Bowl 47's MVP Joe Flacco. Notable University of Delaware alumni include Topic. Partner institution Topic. Malaysia University Tunku Abdul Rahman